Um, I was actually able to pick up a brand new Lawrence um, TI 9 inch. Uh, this is their total scan imaging um, fish finder. This is actually probably my first actually big purchase when it comes to fish finders. So I'm actually pretty excited to review and unbox this thing for you today. It's been like in the past I've been a, a hummingbird guy. You know I have the Helix 5. I've had all you know the hummingbird piranhas. You know just kind of the smaller entry level stuff. But this is the first uh, my, my first big uh, fish finder. My first expensive one. This is also my first Lawrence product. So this is um, me learning and y'all learning at the same time. So, um, this is basically just the outside of the box. This just kind of gives you an overview on some of the features, um, that you can, um, expect with this fish finder. So, the first thing, as you'll notice on the box, is, uh, some of its, some of its bigger features. It has, a the total scan sonar, um, has the chirp sonar, which is kind of more of the, more recent sonar in the past couple years that's kind of almost like the top of the line um, has built-in GPS and mapping um, and it has wireless uh, functions um, as you can see this is the TI this is the TI 9 so uh, it's a 9 inch screen um, with the box it comes uh, this particular one that I got, this particular model, came comes with the Navionics, and it comes uh, with the high mid grain total scan sonar. It kind of shows you some some features and stuff on the back. Um, the total image is not only um, the down imaging, but it's also uh, sonar down imaging and side imaging. That's pretty much that. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and open this box and see what's inside. So this is actually uh, one of the first unboxing. Looks like it comes with uh, some kind of just kind of papers, and then this is obviously the display unit itself. Um, this white's actually a plastic cover. Looks like it uh, protects the face of the fish finder itself of the display. See, you got just kind of blank, and then this all pulls out. We got mounts here for the actual base, zip ties, screws. Looks like for the transducer. We got a. We got the power cord and protected is actually the transducer itself. The six different uh, screws for it uh, that goes to the plate. Also this goes straight to the back obviously of the mount or of the display screen. Uh, this is actually the mount itself where the six screws I was talking about earlier this is what actually goes on the boat bracket now actually the interesting thing about this bracket is it's this is actually some kind of this is actually some kind of metal um, the reason why I'm surprised is because all the hummingbirds that I've gotten uh, especially the helix 5 you know with it being a $550 fish finder it came with plastic and I'm pretty sure if you want to upgrade to metal it's going to cost you about 80 bucks on Hummingbird's website to upgrade to that so that's always a bonus um, this is transom mount uh, for the actual uh, sonar itself we got the power cord I'm also pretty sure this came with a fuse but I don't see where that went this is some kind of blue packaging. I don't know. I don't know exactly what that is, but it says it says total scan on it. We got quick start guides. We got two of them actually. We got a well. They, okay, so these are two different languages. 
um, two different sets of languages, as I say. So this, the small ones um, in English, uh, Spanish, and whatever, and then this is all just completely different languages. So um, that's that. Now this is all uh, insulation manual. What I wanted to talk about was um, it comes with uh, the Navionics cards. Make sure y'all can see that. Um, for the lower ants. And then it comes with CAMP Insight Pro. Which... I'm not 100% sure. But um, it says U.S. Continental on it. Inland and Coastal. So I'm assuming that has to do with something with that. And from my Helix 5, all that has to be um, done, done online. Now we're just um, going to take a look at the unit itself. Alright guys, so here is the actual face of the Lowrance. As you can see, uh, you got the 9 inch screen. Um, the layout's pretty uh, slim. I, I'm, this is, I feel like it's going to be a big touch screen um, operation. Be there's not a lot of buttons compared to other fish finders on the side. Um, I don't know if I like that yet or not. I know um, I tried this one out um, at Cabela's on their display thing, just playing around with it, seeing if this was the one that I wanted. And um, very smooth, very cool um, operations, pretty simple. But there was a couple of the other Lowrances. Um, I think the HDS model specifically that had, you know, the old, um, you know, right, you know, right, left, kind of up, down, button, keypad. Um, and some of them are pretty nice as far as features go. Now, one thing that I did notice was um, compared to the Hummingbirds is they're a lot, they seem to be a lot simpler as far as the touch screen functionality and actually getting to, um, basically getting to in and out of your features. Um, there's nothing on the bottom top or uh, right. I know some of the other lower ends models and uh, some of the hummingbirds and other brands have insert slots on the right and left. The interesting thing about this one is if you can see this, um, this basically icon, you know, that refers to your um, SD slot. Um, you might think it's down here. I know I did it first. Um, it's actually underneath the low and lower ants right here. So there's a little pill up that you pill up right here. And as you can see, it goes right to um, your slot. Flipping, uh, flipping over to the back. Um, not much here either. Um, you just got your three different plug-ins for um, your transducer, your you know, and your power interface and all that kind of stuff. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it uh, for the face of the unit. Alright guys, that has been um, an unboxing and initial uh, look at the brand new Lowrance 9 inch TI Total Image scan fish finder um, please stay tuned for the videos of uh, the install and the videos of the interface and it actually working uh, unfortunately I didn't have a power uh, a power supply that I can just kind of plug in uh, plug in and look at demo mode um, but yeah uh, look forward to those videos overall um, very very impressed with the low rants um, in, in Cabela's uh, I was able to uh, play with the functions, um, kind of scan through their interface, very uh, very simple, very kind of like a bare bones, it's very straightforward, you know exactly where you're going when you press stuff. Um, I can't say that about other brands, I'm not naming other brands, I'm you know, a big fan of other brands, um, so I'm very um, happy and very interested to kind of dive into uh, Lowrance itself. Um, see where that takes me, see how that goes. Um, I'm happy about the Navianix card that came with it. And I got this thing on a deal, man. Like, literally, I've spent, um, I've spent about 600 bucks after taxes for this fish finder. And the retail value, I think, was a thousand, around a thousand bucks. 
a uh, little bit more than a thousand bucks um, after taxes and stuff. So I got a I got a deal on it. Uh, Black Friday shopping. Um, very excited about that too. So um, yeah, guys, hope you kind of enjoyed this um, this kind of unboxing. It's a little bit different for me to do, um, but yeah, um, look forward to more videos. Um, I hope you enjoy, guys. See you next time.